You can sit next to me. Thank you. Hi guys, just in here, Cleveland Street Novelties. Check it out. Super cool doll. I mean, action figure delivery day. And because my fabulous husband's in town, I thought I would torture him just a little bit more and make him do the review. So you guys know, sit back, relax, grab some snacks, grab a cocktail, and get ready for a good time. It's Just Jen, it's a Just Jen show. Just Jen, here's some things you should know. She likes things that are creepy, things that are dead. She likes to sing songs that get stuck in your head. It's Just Jen, it's a Just Jen show. I'm so excited, you guys. First off, that we have this fabulous figure from The Fog. And that, again, my equally, eh, way more fabulous husband is here to review it. So I'm throwing him in. He's never done a toy review, but this is going to be great. So let's see how he does. Hi, this is just Josh, just Jen's <laughs> husband. Uh, I'm a guest spot today, so I will be trying to go over the highlights on this toy. And I was willing to accept this mission because I love just Jen. And because I love the fog. Yes. This is an action figure I did not know existed. And it is Captain Blake. It is Captain Blake, correct? That is correct. Crap. Uh, there you go. Captain Blake from the fog. And uh, the packaging is pretty awesome. You can see the lighthouse in the movie. They've given this nice purple rendition to the, uh, the famous moment where he lops off the priest's head at the end. In the movie, his eyes are glowing and he is kept in constant silhouette. You never get to really see his face. So it's fun what the designers of the toy did. They really gave him this awesome spectral zombie face right down to like his teeth being bared. Just wonderful. All the detailing, his clothes are fantastic. Oh, his boots, it. his hands, everything is just so wonderfully detailed. I love his buccaneer sword. Here on the back, you can kind of see a close-up photo of our Captain Blake. And then the text reads, In the 19th century, the wealthy Blake set sail for Antonio Bay, the crew of fellow lepers, seeking only a place where they could live in peace. But the locals, who once welcomed and grew greedy, and under cover of a blinding fog, lured the arriving ship onto deadly rocks and used Blake's gold to build their own town. Damn. Exactly 100 years later, the residents of Antonio Bay have forgotten all about the town's murderous past, but Blake and his crew haven't. And this time when the fog rolls in, they will finally have their revenge. Dun, dun, dun. Which is pretty much a good summary of The Fog. If you haven't seen The Fog, The Fog is great. Uh, everyone's crazy about Halloween right now, especially with the, the big reboot that just landed. But The Fog was his follow-up to Halloween. He also did this with Deborah Hill. came out in 1980. And... Uh, he tried to really go full American Gothic, so it was his Gothic pirate ghost story. <laughs> and uh, that's what it reminds I me. I love of. it. The music's great. It's so Scooby Doo. It's very fun. It's got um, Jamie Lee Curtis in another role, Adrian Bardot, and uh, Tom Atkins. Tom Atkins is the lead. Everyone yeah, loves Tom Atkins. The real and me. so it's a <laughs> it's a fun movie, especially if you like early Carpenter. The music is super cool, and it's got his whole crew. Dean Cundy did the photography, and. Uh, Deborah Hill did the production. Now we get to open up, check out the toy in more detail. It's oh. all snagged on my fabulous. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Let's see. This is supposed to be all sorts of. He's so cool. Rise from your watery grave, <laughs> Captain Blake. Is he strapped in with anything? Yes. Oh, I hate when they're strapped in. Oh, this one's got uh, like little plastic pieces. This stuff to deal with. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Oh my goodness. I'll give you the captain. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, you guys. His face is remarkable. It's a scabbard. This would be such a good figure. Again, I keep talking about uh, everybody cosplaying um, horror figures at shows and for Halloween. And the detail in his face, if somebody were to go ahead and just copy this, it's so cool. There's like a chunk of his face actually missing over oh, here wow. on the side. And there's like a little flap of skin. It is the bee's freaking knees. And then, of course, if you want to go ahead and talk about his clothes and everything, I'll give that to you. <laughs> I'll let you do it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say, except his clothes are awesome. The totally shredded front, back, 
aged. It's actual fabric. It's no not detail. Uh, his resin menace, or anything. His belt and his shoulder strap are two separate pieces. Yeah. Like NECA just went all out for this. I love it. And I like that they do. They have like the purple kind of going through his face. They've got the same coloring on his hands. Does his knife actually come out? Yes, it does. Oh. See. Oh, does he hold? Has he, can he hold it, it does, in his hand? It, I don't know. I bet he can. Yeah. Ooh, look at his wrist twists and turns. It's so much fun. That's the coolest they job, do don't I? <laughs> you get to you play do. with the toys. <laughs> this is my favorite part. My husband and I have a huge toy collection, but normally what he does is he sets them up and then they just look really cute on display. But I like to play with them. <laughs> You have to play with this one because I swear he's gonna. I think you got it. Yeah. Oh, now he's armed. But ow! Now he's armed. All the way down to his swashbuckling boots. This guy's detail is freaking phenomenal. There's more straps and buckles all over his boots. And I love that they've got like a patina on them. Like he has just been in the salty seawater for so long. Then. Because NECA is extra AF, just the way I like the rest of my life, there is actually a little tab back here. Did you see that? You guys noticed that? We're going to slide it right out. That means now the batteries are touching each other. And what should happen is if we flip the little switch back here, his eyes should start to glow. All right, let's see if it works. We have glowage. <laughs> And they're so bright, too. It's not some dim, flickering one. It is bright, beaming through, cutting through the fog. So all you see are those red, glowing eyes of death coming to you to take you out with this vicious sword. Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> oh, my God. He is so cool. Do you have anything more to say about him? I love him so much. He's my new fave. I'm going to take him home. You're going to take it home? <laughs> All right, you guys. Make sure you're getting onto ClevelandStreetNovelties.com and getting your own Captain Blake figure. <laughs> you can't get your own Joshua Hoffine. There's only one and only. He's all mine. But thanks, as always, you guys, for making me just a little less creepy. When you guys watch me play with my dolls, it makes me a little more normal. So thanks so very much. And make sure you subscribe. More reviews coming out. More videos coming out. Make sure you comment below. Do you have this figure? Do you have other NECA figures? Because NECA keeps upping their game and their figures keep getting better and better when there are things that light up it makes me light up so i'll see you guys again real soon bye hi guys do you like living dead dolls mystery minis horror movies long walks in the cemetery me too make sure you subscribe